morning. Got a bit more work done, done on the cladding this morning. I've got all this side finished just about. It's a bit around the window to finish. And uh, we need it there. Slow process, but we're getting there slowly. Just got the other side to um, do and finish. On this video, I want to talk a bit about solar panels. What I have on my roof. I have 20 panels, 10 on the back and 10 on the front. Solar panels. So yeah, I've got 20 panels all together. I have a battery, an inverter, and it goes through a meter, and it's monitored all online, and it's Solex power, and we're on sol uh, social energy, and we're in a 4.5 kilowatt battery. our system and the battery in the minute it is 57 percent and we are producing on the solar side is about 2000 watts it's gone down to about a thousand now it's up and down very but it all depends on the weather it's not how hot it is and what light we get yeah, so basically we're, you know, it's hard to have this fitted at the beginning of this year because we're getting a lot of um, high electric bills. As Well, I won't say high, but £60, £70 a month on electric bill and the missus weren't happy because of Pond saying that Pond didn't use too much electric. So I said to her, we've got to go down the solar panel route. So I had this fitted. And uh, our, our bills have come down from 60 70 pound a month to 14 pound a month now, and we get free electric at night time as well, depending on weather. Because um, our electric is charged up the battery, so how it works is the solar produced on the roof puts it into the house, or whatever supplies we've got on, like fridge, freezer, washing machine. I've got my pond. Uh, pump air stones on the pond and whatever electric it uses that whatever's left over it charges our battery up when the battery is 100 full it puts the, the main electric back into the grid and we'll get paid off <coughs> the grid so much not had a payment yet because we've already started um, doing it but yeah it seems okay and it's doing its job and, it, and it's half as bills a lot well it's only £14 a month so that's good really so I thought hmm good on power good on electric and saving money next thing I could get an eater to add to the pond because I'm making a hell of a lot of savings on the electric so that's a route I might go down in the near future they're not cheap to buy these systems but it will pay for itself in the long run so yeah it's not a bad system and I've had some pretty good weather up to now this year but in winter time they tend to be not as good in winter but if you get a few days in winter it should be alright so yeah, it should pay for itself and be okay eventually. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And that like button. And notification bell. For more videos. Because we're posting more videos on a regular basis. Thanks for your time. See you later.